Okay, this is going to be part two in the Blender Game Engine Intermediate Tutorial. Uh, as you can see here to save time, I've already set up the uh, walk and run simulations. Or I'm sorry, the uh, jump and idle simulations, not the walk and run. Uh, it's They're pretty easy to do. Um, it just makes your... It, I mean, it's up to you on how you want the character to look when he's doing each, each action. Uh, but, yeah, I already have them set up. Okay, so continuing on... Uh, we're going to set our character up completely in this blend file and then make our game in another blend file so we can just link him in uh, and you'll see why that's important later. Uh, Alright, so what I want you to do is go ahead and switch into wireframe mode if you're not already there and uh, go ahead and switch into front view and you can join these areas again if you don't have it done already and we're going to add a bounding box to our character, okay? So go ahead and add a cube and size it up on the z-axis Y axis or correction X axis. Uh, it's okay if the uh, character mesh or the armature collides with the bounding box because they are going to both be set to ghost, so they're not going to collide with them. What I like to do is, since the bounding box is going to be in collision with the ground, I like to set the bounding box just inside his mesh so it actually looks like he's walking on the floor. All right. So next thing I want you to do is click on the armature and then the bounding box, hit control P for make parent. That way the character, mesh, and armature all go together like that. All right. Too easy. And I'm going to scale mine down a little bit here. There we go. Okay. And also I want to uh, set the camera to be parented to the box. All right. Okay, next thing we're going to do is uh, set up the walk cycle and also the uh, animations to go with it. So go ahead and we're going to need a plane for this. We're going to need a ground. So go ahead and create a plane. Size that down and then set the box. Click on the bounding box. And set it to dynamic in the logic tab. And uh, go ahead and click on bounds and box. And you can see when you hit play that the box will fall then to the plane. All right. Too easy. And then uh, also you need to go into the shading tab if you haven't done so already and uh, make the box invisible or transparent. Uh, you can also go into the editing tab, I think it is, or uh, maybe it's the uh, this one here. The object tab and hit a uh, uh, wire. There's a couple different ways to do it, but uh, whatever works best for you. There we go. And make sure your plane is facing the correct way so you can see it. All right. And you're probably asking yourself why my character just fell halfway through the plane. Uh, that's because if you look here, you see the uh, center of gravity is right there, which means that the uh, uh, that the uh, bounding circle right there is going to be way up there at its center. So what I'm going to do is just move that down here like this. Just uh, put that in the center. Click the cursor center. And that should be a little more on point for what we're looking for. It's getting there. There we go. Just about. Make sure we can't see underneath them, really. Okay, yeah, that's not right yet. Okay, yeah, just move it up uh, just a little bit farther, and you can see now he just falls right to the plane. Okay, uh, next thing we want to do is set up the action for our box. Because uh, it's not actually the character doing the work, it's the box. The character just does the uh, animations. So click on the box, go in here, add a sensor controller and actuator, just like we did in the last tutorial. And uh, go ahead and set them up for a walk. And it's, here we go. Negative 10 on the center one for me here. All right. And you'll see that when, after you have that set up, right, you go into wireframe mode here and click on the armature. And 
you can click on keyboard. When keyboard W is pressed, you want the armature to play walk. Make sure to set the frames to 55 and set it for loop end, I think it is. And when you hit play, press W, character walks forward. And you can put it in camera mode and see that as well. Uh, okay, it's loop stop, my mistake. There you go. All right, and uh, do that for the other ones as well. All right. Okay, so the last thing we're going to cover real quick um, is how to uh, append this into another uh, append in link. So uh, real quick, let's uh, make our box fully set up here, uh, just like we did in the last tutorial. Uh, set the rotation to A. Set rotation to D as well, or however you want to map your keys out. And I think mine are backwards. Yeah, mine are backwards, of course. There we go. Okay. Now once you have that all set up and you're ready to go, and this is the character you want to go into your game, uh, go ahead and delete everything in your scene that you don't want to be in the next that you don't want to be in your game, set up your lighting for how you want it to look. Okay, that's how I want mine to look from where the camera's going to be. And I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go up here and actually I lied, I'm going to go over here and hit group, add to new group. Alright, and now it is in a group. Uh, I want to come in here and name this group as well. Uh, so come in here to your object tab and down here where it says GR, type in player or whatever you want to call it, okay? Uh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, just for, to fix this, just to make sure for later, go back into your box, hit add property, name player. And if you watch my first tutorial, you know why. Uh, if not, then just do it and you'll find out later why. And uh, just clean everything up here, make it all look good. Uh, and then save your blend file. And save it as whatever you want. Mine's going to be player. Uh, player 1BG. There we go. Okay. That's what it will be. All right. And just go ahead and save this. And in the next tutorial, you will we'll learn how to append and link into a new tutorial file.